Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 3D text in Revit. And after I create some normal 3D text, then I'm going to show you this cool trick to make it glow. Okay, but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with an architectural template. So just open that up. And then I'm just going to place a wall over here on which I will be able to place my 3D text. So just type in WA for wall and let's choose some, I don't know, some brick wall. Place it kind of like that and turn on this, basically the detail level to find to see where the actual brick is. And let's flip to the other side to have brick on the south side. And now if we go into 3D, it looks kind of like this. And let's turn this up on fine. And here we have our brick wall. Okay, so now let's create our 3D text. So to do that, you need to go here to model text. There isn't really a shortcut, that's too bad. You just select it and then you write text. Now the problem is when you place this text, it's going to place it on the active work plane that's selected but because we can select the work plane afterwards we have entered the text you need to cancel out of this you need to go to set work plane then go pick a plane go ok and then you should pick basically the wall face on which you would like to place your text then you go to model text and let's just write something yeah quite narcissistic I admit and then you just place it over here then you can select your text and you can edit it. So you can go over here and you can perhaps edit the depth of the text. That means this thickness. Or you can go into edit type and you can change here the text size. Now it's 600 millimeters or 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters. You can change this to make it a bit bigger if you want. Then you can change the font here. So I'm going to change it to something I like then you can make it bold perhaps or italic I'm not going to do that and then you just go apply and you get something that looks like this and again you can go here and maybe change the thickness to 200 perhaps and of course you can edit the material of this text so if you go here in the properties panel you have this material and you just hit this little square here and you open up your material browser so let's Let's add some wood material that could look interesting. Go apply, OK. And now let's go into level one and create perhaps a camera to try to render this. So I'm just going to open up here a camera, set it up like so. Yeah, that looks fine. Maybe zoom it in a bit. OK, and let's try rendering this. Yeah, that actually looks real cool. Now let's try to create a glowing 3D text. So I'm just going to escape out of this and let me go into standard 3D view. Now, as you remember, this is kind of placed on the wall. And if I go into perhaps site plan and select this text, go MV for move, unconstrain it. And if I try to kind of pull it down, you can see I can only go left, right. I can't really disconnect it from the wall. That's because this is a face based family, these 3D text families. So what you need to do if you want to kind of have the text flowing in the air kind of a bit displaced away from the wall as we would have to do in, if it's a glowing text family because it, we wanted to kind of cast some light on the wall. To do that we need to delete this text. We need to go into level 1 and we need to create a reference plane. So I'm just going to type in RP for reference plane and just create a reference plane like so. You select it, you zoom in, and let's change this to, I don't know, something like 50 millimeters or 5 centimeters. So we have this reference plane. Then we're going to set it and just go pick a plane. So we set this as an active reference plane, and let's go into 3D to do our text again. So just go model text, let's try Balkan Architect, OK. And you just place it like that. And now if we kind of turn on the shadows, you can see it's kind of away from the wall. It's displaced. Uh, I guess you can see that. 
perhaps like this. Yeah, you can see it's kind of flo floating in the air. Okay, so once we have that, let's change the material to make it glow. So I'm going to go here to material by category. And then you go over here and open up this home tab. Now you don't want to use Autodesk materials. You want to take these AEC materials. Open this drop menu, go into glass and you have this glass white high luminance. And if we load it in and go into appearance, you can see it has this self illumination option checked. So this basically means it's self illuminated. It casts light. But if I go apply, OK, and let's try to render this. So let's go into our 3D camera view and let's try render. So just double R for render draft. And let's try this exterior sun and artificial and go render. And as you can see here, we have this that's kind of sort of glowing, but not really. And it's not really casting any light on this wall. So how do we fix it? How to make it cast light on the wall? So I'm just going to escape out of this and we actually need to create a lighting family to place behind this text. So I'm going to go here to new, open up family, scroll down a bit and try to find the metric lighting fixture, open this up. And here you have just this generic family. Let's go to front. It looks kind of like this. And now I just want to place some geometry on this so I can see it later on when I load it into project. So I'm just going to go here to extrusion. And let's just create a small circle over here. That's I don't know something like this. Go finish, go into reference level. And just make it quite quite small. Okay, you make it look like this perhaps. And then you go here and you open up this family types dialog and for the initial color I like to set it up to 4500 which actually means it will be just a white light and for luminance let's go to 500 that's I think that's all right go apply okay and then load into project and then you just want to place it kind of in the let's go into site plan perhaps or no let's go into south elevation and then you go component and you have this family one and you kind of try to place it but it won't okay let's try in site plan component place it perhaps over here and then you go to south elevation you turn on this wireframe view and you can see it it's over here so you kind of scroll up and place it over here you go co to copy you select multiple and then you start copying this along the letters. Now this is not really, this is quite time cons consuming and it's not efficient, but it's the only way to get it all the way around. Okay, so once this is finished, you just go into your 3D view, you hit double R for render, let's leave it a draft, let's go interior artificial only perhaps, and let's hit render. And then you get something that looks like this. Now again, the, le the letters are glowing, but we don't really see the background and that's because we need to adjust exposure a bit. So I'm going to go here to adjust exposure and set up the brightness a bit higher like so go apply and you get something that looks like this now you can go even brighter if you want but this is perhaps too much let's try this yeah that looks cool maybe a little less okay but you get the point so this is how to create basically 3d text that actually lights up Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.